Continuing the discussion on whether or not the Muslim Jesus was a complete and total failure as a prophet, I've received some responses from some Muslims on YouTube on the topic. Now, my thesis is based on the observation that Jesus was completely rejected by the Jews who tried to have him crucified. He ended up being worshipped by his own followers as a god, and the outside world paid absolutely no attention to him whatsoever. It wasn't until the second century that we get any non-Christian references to Jesus, and even these are so oblique that they don't mention him by name. So, my thesis is that Jesus was a complete and total failure as a prophet. Now, I've received a couple responses from Muslims, one of which talks about how there were many different Christianities at that time during the first few centuries, and uh, that there was, according to the Muslim dreamscape, this group of, well, I guess you could call them proto-Muslims. They were looking forward to a greater prophet to come, and they understood that Jesus was just a prophet, that he was not divine. Well, if such a group existed, we have absolutely no evidence that they did. And there were a wide variety of different Christianities. There were the Marcionites, who thought that he was a higher god. There were the Docetics, who thought that he was just an illusion sent by God. There were the Arians, who thought that he was an archangel. And there were the Ebionites, who thought that he was possessed by the Spirit of God, and had the Spirit of God riding around in the inside of him. Absolutely none of these were looking forward to another prophet coming along, and absolutely none of these could be considered proto-Islamic, considering that they all regarded Jesus as having some degree of divinity or other. Now, the other response that I've gotten is that it's not necessary to actually convince anyone as a prophet. That's their responsibility to hear and understand and accept the message. Rather, all the prophet has to do is just deliver the message. Well, that's awfully convenient. All you have to do is just show up for the job. I mean, come on, any bozo can deliver a message from God. That's not the problem. When we say that someone is a great salesman, it's not just somebody who tries to sell products or who makes sales calls. It's someone who does sell products. When we call someone a great politician, it means that he or she not only runs for office, but actually gets elected and then gets things done once elected. We use the word great to describe someone who, number one, gets great results, and number two, results that not anybody can get. If all you have to be in order to be a prophet and successful at it is just deliver a message from God, well, anybody can do that. What do you mean when you say great then? What do you base the descriptor great when you talk about the Muslim Jesus? I mean, that's just what I'm curious about. But you know, something that seems a little bit strange, we have no writings from Jesus, even though there are writings from many other prophets, Moses wrote things down, Muhammad wrote things down, Paul wrote things down, but we have absolutely nothing from the Muslim Jesus. And it has to be considered negligence that Jesus never wrote anything down, that he was sent to be a prophet to the Jews, that he was supposedly talking about this prophet to come along later on, and we have no writings from him. So what was he doing with his 30-some-odd-year life here? And it's the same question I've asked the Christians, why do we have no book of Jesus? But this is particularly important for the Muslims to answer, because if it's true that Jesus wrote nothing down, and then his followers, right after his death, splintered off into many different factions, and all of them were worshipping Jesus to some degree or other as a divine being, then it's partly Jesus' fault, because he wrote nothing down, and had he written something down, it might have cleared things up. But thinking upon this further, I sort of wonder how could Jesus possibly have failed as badly as he did, considering he had all these miracle working powers. He was born of a virgin. He was healing the sick and the injured. I believe the Muslims believe the story about him turning clay birds into life. I mean, he was performing all of these magical powers. How is it that he failed to be noticed by anyone outside of his own band of followers? How is it that the Jews just looked upon all these things happen? Oh, he's he's healing leprosy. Meh. You know, what were they? What would the Jews think? How could the Jews possibly blow that off if he really is performing miracles? At the very least, we should expect the Jews to be writing things down about him, about the controversies of what he preached. And how is it that Jesus 
could have a group of followers that were expecting a greater profit down the road, and along comes Paul just three years later and says, no, actually, he's a, he's a higher god, and you know, we should all be worshipping him. I mean, wh what, did the Christians who were these proto-Muslims who were taught to be strictly monotheistic, what, they, they all just suddenly say, oh, okay, that, that would, is that what he meant? I mean, how is it even possible that Jesus failed as badly as he did? I tell you, if you go to an atheist convention and you were to say, heal Stephen Hawking and have him walk again, I guarantee you, even the most staunch skeptic in that room would be absolutely impressed and be thoroughly convinced that something unnatural is happening there. I guarantee you that. Why were the Jews so skeptical when Jesus was performing all of these miracles? It just staggers my imagination that Jesus could possibly have failed as badly as he did. So the three questions that I would have for Muslims is, number one, why was Jesus not a total failure as a prophet considering he never wrote anything down? Two, what do you mean when you say the word great if by that you just mean somebody who just delivers a message that anybody can deliver? And three, how is it that Jesus could possibly have failed as badly as he did given all the miracles that he was supposedly performing. So if Muslims watching this could please get back to me, I would appreciate it.